Hello everyone, David Waldorf here, and today we're unboxing Time of Empires by Pearl Games, designed by David Simeon and Pierre Voyer, with art by Gail Lanurian. I probably did not get those pronunciations right, but this is a uh, Civ game with a real-time element to it. Um, if I can open the shrink here. Competitive game, uh, two to four players. Box says it takes about an hour of time. camera here. Oops, let me adjust that. But yes, the box says, one, place your sand timer, two, immediately resolve the corresponding action, and there is no three. I think you score somehow. Let's take a look inside this box and see what we get. Let's see the pr progression of various ages and technologies there. Space shuttle flying in the background. Alright, so we have a rule book. Now it does mention that it requires an app to play. However, a quick look on Board Game Geek um, seems like maybe that's just required for scoring, um, and there is a, a score sheet that you can download if you don't want to. Oh yeah, this is right here. Uh, there's a soundtrack, I guess, that's also available. Um, so yeah, soundtrack that you'll need. Um, it's in the app where you can download it from the game's website. These look to be some kind of player or action boards. Um, these are not the same size, so I'm guessing they're not the same type of board. Another, oh wait, this has some punch outs in it. Okay, that's interesting. It appears like it's a board you're actually supposed to use, but there are these spots that have uh, punch outs, a few small squares and some larger areas. I haven't played this game, and so I don't know how this goes, but these must be the player boards. They're rather large. Um, got one, two, three, four. We have pink, red, sort of an orangish, brownish, and a blue. Those are interesting choices for player colors. And let's see, they appear to be otherwise identical to me. Alright, so that's that. We have some punch boards. These are, these aren't individual hexes, they are a series of three hexes together. Let's take a look at those. Again, these are large, very large components. On the back side we have a winter-ish landscape. Um, not as thick as uh, some punch board I've seen but it uh, appears serviceable. Some uh, other tokens on there for for punching out. Punch board one. Punch board two. More of these hexes. More tokens. Punch board three. All of these punches look to me all of these, uh, these hexagons look more or less similar. You got the water, wood, woodland, and cropland type uh, thing going on. I guess this one's a little different. So, no, they're not all the same. There you have more of a, a mountainous region as opposed to here where you've got the water. Okay, so there is some, some difference. Looks like there's a sort of a city or a castle icon near the middle of those. That's punch board four. Punch board five, with one of them already punched out. 
a lot of, uh, lot of I guess, wasted space here on these. Um, but it is what it is. Baggies! Yay, hurry for baggies. And here we have a bunch of plastic pieces. I'm not entirely certain what these are, but they're in the different player colors. Um, and here's a look at what those look like. Um, I'd have to check the rule book to figure out what those are supposed to be. Here are the sand timers. Eight of them. And here are bases for the sand timers. Oh, these are like a these are like a rubber, or like a silicone. Um, I thought they would be plastic, but no, they're not. They're squishy. So that's that. Some cards, which we will open up shortly, and some other tokens here. We have. What appear to be houses or buildings. These are all made of wood. More houses or buildings in the player colors. I'm not sure what that structure represents, but again in the player colors. These are just green. Almost look like little bottles or something. Some rectangular brown tokens. I'm guessing they represent a resource or perhaps a marker of some sort. And we have windmills. All right, now before I open the card decks, let me dig out the rule book again. Where did I put the rule book? Find a component list and figure out what Okay, it shows the buildings there. A green ID. Oh, it's a light bulb. Okay, the green is a light bulb and orange brick tokens. Okay. Okay, I guess these plastic things are population tokens. And there are a lot of them. All right, and then a quick look at the cards. <coughs> if I can figure out how to open these. It's kind of my uh, Achilles heel. You're supposed to have an easy open tab, and I can never easily open them. Ah. Yeah. All right, I resort to a knife. Let's see. Can we get into this? Do it this way. into it that way. Alright, it appears we have backs with Roman numeral 3, Roman numeral 2, Roman numeral 1. Oh, different color border. 3s, 2s, and 1s. Okay, and these are again in the... not in the player colors? I don't think, no. Um, but it looks like it's divided into several different ages. Let's take a look at what the fronts look like. Ooh, 3D printing. <clears throat> ages or phases, perhaps. Some icons at the top, obviously. Microprocessors. Space conquest. And then we go way back in time to a code of law. Chiseling it onto clay tablets. Masonry Universities. There are multiple copies of these cards in here. Prefabrication, agriculture, colonialism. You can see we're hopping around in different eras here from colonialism to nuclear energy, to ancient Greece, classicism. An encyclopedia. The internet! 
pot art. Okay, so that's what uh, some of those cards look like. Let's take a look at the other deck here. And maybe this one will open the easy way. I can see the tab. I just can't get it. It's right there. And I'm always afraid, of course, of chewing up the uh, edges of my card. So again, we're going to resort to the knife. And just slip that over there. And open this up this way. go. Cut that open. More backs with ones and twos on them. Threes. But these are leaders perhaps of some sort. I think there are leaders in the game. Let's take a look at the fronts here. Wait, what are those? All right, hold on a minute. Okay, looks like we've got some buildings. Golden Gate Bridge. Space Station, Pyramids, oops, sorry, out of frame, there we go. Alright, so, structures, and some of these other cards, let's look at these ones. Alright, more, and I dropped one, more similar things to what we've already seen. Mastery of Fire, Breeding, I wonder if these are, these are in the player colors, um, these must be starting decks, I'm guessing. So those look like starting decks. Grab one off the floor that I dropped. Alright, and then, some of these are, uh, are these also in the player colors? Not really, no. What do we have? Okay, yes, these do appear to be different uh, cultural leaders, perhaps, uh, of some sort, at least named individuals, whether or not they function as societal leaders, I guess I don't know. I um, just think I remember reading something about that. Uh, you get a good idea for what the art style looks like. And finally, quick look at these. Library, battery, thermometer, Muddleson. I'd hate to be the guy that's going under the knife right there. That does not look comfortable. But anyway, there you have it. This is what you get. A lot of uh, a lot of components here. Some punching to do. But this is what you get inside Time of Empires from Pearl Games. Thanks for watching. Bye.